Greetings, Legionnaires! I come to you with news of my most recent battle with Transformers The Last Night. The most recent incarnation of a foe I've faced many times, The Last Night aims to wow audiences with its over-the-top visuals and breakneck action. The question remains, does the film surpass those that came before it, or does it fall prey to its predecessor's shortcomings? I'll get to all that and more in my report, which will contain a brief, spoiler-free plot synopsis, the highlights, and the shortcomings. The film picks up shortly after the events of Transformers Age of Extinction. All Transformers are considered enemies of the state, and the Autobots seek refuge alongside Texas inventor Cade Yeager. Meanwhile, Optimus Prime continues his mission of assaulting his makers out in deep space. Prime's quest draws the ire of Quintessa, who rules over Cybertron, the Transformers' homeworld, as she plans to destroy Earth and make Cybertron whole once again. But, a powerful device known as the Staff of Merlin could prevent such a catastrophe. So, it's up to Cade and the Autobots to stop Quintessa and any Decepticons that plot to destroy the planet. Let's start as we always do with the highlights. First off, the visuals are impressive. The way the Autobots and Decepticons transform is always interesting to observe. They seem to have done away with that weird screensaver transformation from the previous outing, which was a good call. Also included is a time manipulation effect that I quite enjoyed, but it was used sparingly. I imagine this would be a game-breaking element if they could implement it whenever they saw fit. As far as the cast is concerned, Peter Cullen returns as the voice of Optimus Prime, which is always spot on. Even though Prime is quick to give a speech, each time he speaks I feel as if Cullen is giving it his all. Anthony Hopkins joins the cast and does a solid job of delivering exposition, as that seems to be the primary role of his character. Finally, Jim Carter, who plays a Transformer named Cogman, is actually quite comical. Many may remember him as Charles Carson from Downton Abbey, and he is a welcome addition. Although his character seems to have a few screws loose, the lines and presence of that character provided the only true laugh-out-loud moments. Now to the shortcomings, which were many. Sadly, even though this is the fifth installment in the series, Transformers has failed to learn from past inadequacies. Chief among them is another focus on the humans. As if you paid to see a movie actually about Transformers, the primary focus, once again, is on people, and more specifically, Cade Yeager. It isn't that Wahlberg's performance is bad, but it isn't good either. Besides Hopkins, none of the humans really stand out. Josh Duhamel's character returns from the previous films as Colonel Lennox, but is sadly forgettable. Truly, I would rather have him be the focal point and run military ops alongside the Autobots once again, instead of just showing up when more explosions start happening. Also, the writing is horrendous. For some odd reason, there's a continued trend of this sophomoric dialogue which is grating at best. It also doesn't matter who is speaking because they all talk in the same immature way, from young boys to Hopkins himself. To top that off is this white knuckle thrill ride that is the editing and jumping from scene to scene. This journey takes place across the globe, with flashbacks and multiple storylines coinciding at the same time. Not only is it jarring to move from place to place in rapid succession, but it's also really confusing as well. This makes it even more difficult to appreciate any battle sequence because it can be hard to tell where all the key players are and what they are trying to accomplish. Finally, the Autobots themselves, for the most part, still have the emotional and personal depth of a puddle and retain their stereotypical and potentially racist quirks. Truly, if you've seen any of the other Transformer films, then you've already seen this one. One big car commercial where a bunch of humans try to recover some lost artifact while they're helped by the good robots to defeat the bad robots. Transformers The Last Night is bad. The rehash plot, the focus on strange human characters, and the writing are abysmal. While the effects and action are still pretty solid and some acting talent is present, it isn't enough to save this overly bloated repeat of a movie. So Legionnaires, let me know what you thought of the review in the comments below. If you do see the film, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Interested in hearing a more in-depth analysis of the picture? Then check out this week's Critical Podcast, where my fellow General Joe and myself will discuss it at length. If you're interested in supporting the Legion, then check out patreon.com slash critical reviews to help fund our glorious campaign. But sharing this review with a buddy helps too. Thanks for stopping by, and remember to adapt and overcome.